Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. This is a monster spotlight video, but instead of featuring one of the other people's monsters, I'm going to be featuring one of my own. Um, this over here is the Water Nightmare. I have her at Evil 2 and I have her fully gemmed up. I don't have the best gems, I can't really say that she's gemmed perfectly, but I think they're they're decent. You're right, alright? They're just basically um, attack, or not attack, um, HP and crit rate and resist. I basically focused on resist. I tried to get her resist relatively high. So she has about 8% um, here, about 13% there. So that's 21 and 20, uh, 26%. So basically just stacked her HP relatively high. Um, didn't really power up these runes all the way. But we're, we're just here to showcase her skills and what she can do in the dungeon. I know if you've seen guys I know you. I know you guys seen. Oh my god, I can't even talk. Um, I know you guys seen her a lot in the arena. I do use her quite a lot in the arena, but I also use her to farm some dungeons sometimes. She has a really, really powerful heal on her second skill. So her main selling point is her seal, which is a hundred percent and lasts for three turns. This is really, really OP. Like, pretty much no other monster can can um, reliably apply seal like this. You know, basically she's the she's one of the only ones able to. Um, you know, have a hundred percent, and it also last three turns, which is really, really OP for a first skill. There's barely any other skills that really last for three turns, and as soon as you land this, this makes all passives useless. So it means like um, aggression, you know, stun on their normal skills or any sort of effect they have. It makes it completely useless, um, which makes her really, really strong in PvP. But it also works somewhat well in PvE because if you land this, it means they're not able to stun you, armor break you, or do anything weird to your monsters. Her second skill, at first glance, doesn't look all that impressive. It says attacks restore H allies HP in the amount equal to 10% of your own max HP. But a lot of people don't know is um, if your second skill is an AOE and it has HP siphon, it means that every single hit, every single enemy that she hits, she's going to be restoring 10% of her HP. Meaning, whenever she casts her second skill, she's going to be restoring um, everyone's HP by 20 by 40% of her own HP every single time. So that's a very very strong heal in my in my opinion, especially if you can get her HP really really high. She doesn't have the highest base HP, but she has pretty high base defense, so you can just kind of stack HP and you're good to go. All right, so we're gonna do we're gonna do one run um, of the dungeon and just kind of kind of do it slowly to um, show what she can do. Alright, the, the main thing is going to be her healing. I've, I've actually got this idea because a lot of people don't, um, you know, a lot of people look at damage, like, and they, they think, oh, this, this is a strong monster, but not a lot of people, like, focus on supports and healers, you know. Uh, monsters that can reliably land debuffs or monsters that do, like, supporting skills like healing or buffing your, your allies. Nobody really um, pays a lot of attention to that. But, but a lot of those monsters really do make or break the game. So I'm basically just um, using her as a secondary healer. And the really, really good thing about her second skill is it's basically an AoE nuke. So if you, um, if you want to build her hybrid and put like crit rate or something on it, um, you know, every, every time she, if she does like more damage to the enemy, she's going to get, get more blue soul recovery. Like, like, like she did just now. Um, basically she nuked with her AoE and she was able to get um, a lot of souls back. Alright so, oh shit I, I forgot to stop the auto. But yeah basically the, the these two just nuke the enemy to death. So she's she's also doing damage at the same time when she's um, when she's healing and she's also able to able to um, you know when she's not healing put seal on these these things. I think these are the ghosts and they they stun when they crit. So if she seals this one, it means um, this one's no longer able to stun, you know. I hopefully they they like buff the AI on buff monsters or debuff monsters to to make it um like hopefully in the future to make it you know go and seal multiple targets and it lasts three turns, meaning that you know it doesn't really matter if she if she doesn't hit one of them. All right, this is basically her heal just now on three 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 units. If it was 4, it would probably be healing a little bit more. I don't think she can really make it as a primary healer, but if you're running like a full nuke team to like try to speed clear it, um, she can definitely do that. 
And she can also work as a secondary healer that, um, you know, provides a bit of utility, a bit of, um, you know, a little bit of damage, and also, you know, do, do her main job as a healer. I wouldn't really classify her as a healer, she's pretty much a unique unit, like, um, you know, if, if it was just her second skill, she wouldn't be all that strong, but she does have her, her three turn seal, which makes her, like, completely unique, and no other monster in the game has this. Before this patch, a lot of, a lot of the other monsters don't even have seal. There's no, there were only like three units, and the other two were light, dark, nat fives. So um, seal was really re really rare. She basically had the monopoly on seal. But now that um, you know seal's kind of kind of kind of more obtainable in the form of another nat five having seal, and also another nat four having seal. Um, I think seals can be the new meta very very soon in PvP, but I I just wanted to show her off in dungeons because I think her her healing capabilities and her um, I think her mixture of like pretty pretty decent stats makes her a pretty good monster for for anything. Oh yeah, I also have her as a variant, so she has resist leader in the in the arena, which is really really strong. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, that's my that's my my monster spotlight on one of my own monsters. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. And um, if you want to be featured in one of these monster spotlight videos, send me send me an email. Um, I have the email on the side, and also have an email below with my just with your in in game name and also some information on your monster. And I'll, I'm really I'm always really happy like whenever um, someone comments to to do a monster spotlight and that's that's basically it I'm definitely gonna make be making more of these and if you guys wanna you know wanna um, wanna wanna join be sure to email me or you know leave your in-game name in the comment below and say something about your monsters or something like that and I'll definitely hit you up with that so that's pretty much it if you guys like my video be sure to like it if you guys hated it be sure to just dislike the shit out of it you know um, I'll see you guys in the next one peace out